How different is GoPro Hero 11 camera from its predecessor, the GoPro Hero 10 Black? If you want to find out the 9 key differences, then watch the video till the end. Before we dig into those 9 key differences, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It will help me a lot to bring more and better content. So let's talk about first biggest difference. 1. Bigger sensor. This larger sensor allows you to shoot in 8 is to 7 aspect ratio. In addition to the 16 is to 9 and 4 is to 3 in camera aspect ratios already available on the Hero 10 Black, giving you the flexibility to export your footage into any number of formats. A particular benefit for social media creators looking to capture vertically minded content in 9 is to 16. However, the Hero 11 Black's 8 is to 7 aspect ratio makes it an appealing shooting alternative in general. With this full-frame mode, you'll receive a 16% boost in vertical field of view over the Hero 10 Black, making GoPro's latest action camera its most immersive snapper ever. Number 2. Hyperview As the title suggests, Hyperview allows you to record even more of your surroundings by condensing the previously described 8-7 aspect ratio into a wide-angle 16-9 image. Essentially, this is the finest lens for action-heavy POV film. And in our tests, Hyperview footage was clearly the most immersive of the bunch. Having saying that, we believe Superview still captures enough of the action for most users, so we wouldn't call Hyperview a game-changing addition for GoPro enthusiasts. Number 3. Smoother Stabilization GoPro's dedication to class-leading stabilization continues with HyperSmooth 5.0 on the Hero 11 Black, the Hero 11 Black has three HyperSmooth settings, Standard, High, and Boost. The Hero 11 Black has only one, Auto Boost, which only adds stabilization when the camera detects shaking. In a bid to maintain the widest field of view possible during recording, Auto Boost is a great choice for people wondering when to engage HyperSmooth during harsh activities like mountain biking. Number 4. 360 Degree Horizon HyperSmooth 5.0 also includes a horizon lock option for the Hero 11 Black's linear lens. The Hero 10 Black employs horizon leveling to correct uneven footage by up to 45 degrees, whereas the Hero 11 Black keeps film straight, locks it in place. Even when the camera spins 360 degrees, except for 5.3K over 60P or 4K over 120P and a few others. It supports all resolutions and frame rates, which stick by standard horizon leveling. Horizon lock makes shooting choppy activities like jet skiing easy and gives movement heavy footage a dramatic flair. You can even spin the Hero 11 black in the air and it'll stay practically level. Magic! Number 5. 10-bit color. This enhancement is more essential for color graders than regular GoPro users, but it's worth noting. The former offers 10-bit color video, which enables 1 billion hues of red, blue, and green, versus 16.7 million with 8-bit, to make film more lifelike. The human eye can only distinguish roughly 10 million hues, but the Hero 11 Black's higher shade count eliminates banding and color-changing skies and improves motion-heavy footage. Number 6. More Presets Hero 11 Black features three time-lapse presets not available on Hero 10 Black. Light painting uses a long exposure in a dark scene to generate dynamic light brush strokes. We tested this feature and found that even terrible attempts may be passed off as artistic. Vehicle Light Trails employs the same approach to capture moving vehicle light. Star Trails uses the Earth's rotation to produce star trails in the night sky. This feature is useful if you're camping outdoors. Number 7. Longer Battery Life Battery life is an important concern for all GoPro owners. 
regardless of skill level. And the Hero 11 Black comes standard with the brand's Enduro battery. This beefier and packaged battery, which increases recording duration by up to 38% depending on the mode you're shooting in, is available as an optional extra for the Hero 10 Black. But it's wonderful to see GoPro including it right out of the box with their latest action cam. Number 8. New Mode The Hero 11 Black has two interface options to better fit the demands of both casual and hardcore GoPro users, Easy Mode and Pro Mode. This distinction is not accessible on the Hero 10 Black, and it allows seasoned professionals to handle a wide range of complex presets, bitrate, color profiles, and so on, while keeping less experienced users satisfied with a simpler point-and-shoot experience. Number 9. Price The GoPro Hero 11 Black is predictably more expensive than the Hero 10 Black, but not by much. The GoPro Hero 10 Black is now available for $349 with subscription and $449 without subscription. And the new Hero 11 costs $499 without a subscription and $399 with one. Now, should you buy it or not? The Hero 11 Black is without a doubt GoPro's most capable action camera to date. But is it worth the jump for those who already own the Hero 10 Black? Unsurprisingly, the answer will be dependent on your individual requirements. The Hero 11 Black's better color grading capabilities and the adaptability afforded by its upgraded sensor will almost surely help serious content creators. And if you're a point-and-shoot user like me, there's no discernible difference in image quality. Let me know in the comments if you plan on purchasing a new GoPro Hero 11 or sticking with the previous Hero 10. Much love and blessings!